Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Belvis. We are breaking our fast this morning by reading and reflecting upon the word of God. And today's scripture is found in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. And it reads, not paying back evil for evil or insult for insult, but on the contrary, given a blessing since we were called for this so that you can inherit a blessing. Amen. Uh, I've read 1 Peter 3 and 9. And here as a reflection, um, I just want to remind you that uh, the scripture says that we should not be uh, returning what? Evil for evil. We should not be harling uh, insults uh, to others who have insulted us. We should not seek uh, hatred towards someone because maybe uh, they've um, expressed some type of hatred toward us. But it says that we are to be a blessing. That means we are to bless them by praying God's favor over their life, by praying God's protection, God's provision for them, and maybe even for their families. Bless them with our affections. Bless them with our thanks. Bless them uh, by uh, uh, offering good, uh, good, good words or wishes upon them um, so that um, they can see the love of Christ that dwells in us as believers, because this scripture is speaking to believers, believers in Christ Jesus. So if you are a believer, we should not be playing this tip for tack game that we play, you know, maybe when we were younger. Um, um, and some people still do today. And we should, that is not the mentality that we should have as a believer. But the scripture says that we are to be a blessing. We are to, we are not to have that tip for tat. We're not to, to, to try to get someone back for what they done to us. And you may say, you don't understand what they did. You don't know how they hurt me. You don't know uh, what it made me feel like, but God knows, God knows and love covers a multitude of sins. So we know that um, Jesus said that the, the world will know us by the love that we have one for another. And so when we share a blessing, when we, uh, when someone has hurt us or uh, 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 done wrong to us in some kind of way, but when we, when we are able to bless and not curse. Um, we show the love of Christ that dwells in us. And, and when we show the love of Christ, we are exhibiting Christ living on the inside of us. And so it points it back to his glory. And that's what we are here to do. And so to give glory to God and to point me into Christ, who is the savior of the world. And so uh, we are not to 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 play this tip for tat game. Um, but it says here that uh, on the contrary, given a blessing since you were called for this. This is what we are called to do. This is this is this is what we are called to do, and we need to embrace that. That means you have been, uh, as a child of God and as a Christian believer, that we are called to be people, a people who blesses others, not to always want to receive a blessing, but to actually give a blessing. How do we bless? We bless in so many different ways. Um, you can bless monetary monetarily you can bless if i say that correctly you can bless um uh, by being in the presence of someone you can bless by praying for them you can bless by uh um just standing in a gap uh, in so many many different ways but you ask god how does he want you to be that blessing but we are to bless we know that we are to bless and not curse so let us do that and then it says that so that you can inherit a blessing. So once you have given it over to God and you you start blessing and praying for that person and, and praying God's favor and provision and protection over them, and uh, uh, then you you too can can be uh, um, in in expectation of a blessing. 
because it says here, so that you can inherit a blessing. We know we've already received the blessing of salvation in Christ Jesus, our Savior and our Lord. We already know that we have that uh, inheritance, and but yet we will also inherit a blessing by being a blessing to someone else. So let us bless and not curse. Again, let me say that again. Let us bless and not curse. Let us not play this tip for tack game, but let us play the blessing game. Let us bless others like God has blessed us. So we've broken our fast by reading and reflecting upon the word. I pray that you have been encouraged by the word to go forth and be a blessing to someone who maybe have hurt you in some, or wronged you in some kind of way. You can still be a blessing and let the love of Christ shine in and through your life today. So remember to love like God loves you. Oh, there it is. Uh, remember, love like God loves you. Remember, you are special no matter what you are going through and no matter what you have been through. Be blessed. And I will see you on the next episode. And again, thank you for joining me for breaking the fast so I won't have to have breakfast alone. Be blessed.